Hello and welcome back to Hundreds and Info. In this video, I will show you how to set up the Redmi Pad 2 Pro. Let's begin. So let's simply hit that arrow button and let's proceed with the setup. Now, as you can see, my Redmi Pad here is freshly out of the hard reset, so everything should behave like it just came out of the box. I will continue with the United Kingdom English language and I will set the United Kingdom as my region as well. Now we will have to agree to certain terms and conditions. So I will go into I have read everything and we can go into next. I have changed the exposure of the camera slightly so now you should see better. Anyway, we have the setup using another device option and with that we can copy settings, accounts and more from another phone or tablet keeping it nearby and unlocked. And what's really cool is that with that you can just skip the entire part of the setup which I believe is very very useful and uh, though the only part is that you need really an older device because usually people use this uh, when migrating from older to newer devices so unfortunately I'm going to go into skip however if you do have an older device I would strongly advise you to go and uh, set up with another device now we have the ability to connect to network I believe this is actually skippable okay pretty good uh, this I really really wanted to check it out because many uh, different devices don't actually allow uh, skipping the connecting network but this should be the list for you of all nearby networks around you I'm going to choose this one as my main network and now we want to input the passwords to it and now let's simply go into connect and if the password is correct, we should be able to connect to the network. Now the reason I'm not skipping connecting to the network is because it's really really important. Because if you skip connecting to the network, you won't be able to go through the process of, for example, adding a Google account or making anything internet related really. And you will have a much easier setup because it will be shorter, uh, but on long term it's not really worth it. Anyway, now we are getting our tablet ready, and this process may take a few minutes, but as you can see it's already done, now they're only checking my information, and unfortunately we have the your device was factor reset, and we can still unlock it using our previous password. Now this is very very scary, especially for people who are coming uh, after getting the hard reset because they have forgotten that pin. Um, now there is a way to actually get past this, this is called DRM, I believe this is called DRM um, blockage or something like that, and we have tons of different tutorials on how to actually skip the screen so you can watch them, um, but I'm going to just input my previous password instead, though I think, I don't know, I'm not sure, like, come for sure, uh, but I think that generally speaking you want to skip this by using the Google account instead, though I could be wrong. Let's go into next. We now have checking info. And now we have the ability to sign in into our Google account. So let's simply go into our email and phone and let's input our credentials. And by the way, as a little fun fact, you don't really actually have to input the at gmail.com every single time uh, because the only first half of your Gmail account will be good enough, unless it exists, of course. If it doesn't, then you won't be able to log in. But if the first half is correct, we can now input the password to our account. And if the password is correct, we should be able to connect the password to the, to the Google account. Um, let me actually try again. Okay, now let me try. And that's pretty interesting because it seems that I have forgotten my password. Now, if that's the case, and this is totally okay if it happens to you, you can always go into forgot password and then you will go through. Maybe not complicated, but from a long process of retrieving and resetting your password. And if you have troubles with that, you can always watch our forgotten password tutorial. But I will just input the correct password now. And the moment you click OK, you should see this. Of course, if you have a correct password now. And you have to agree to terms of service, play terms of service and privacy policy of Google. So let's go to I agree. If we don't agree, we won't be able to actually add the account, which isn't very good. 
and now we are getting our account info and once again we have a nice ability to copy apps and the data from an older device uh, which will speed up the process of setting up our tablet tremendously so i will go into don't copy just because i don't really have an older um, older phone or older device whatever and now we have set screen lock and if you would skip uh, downloading i'm sorry connecting to the wi-fi this is what you would see next you would skip the entire part of connecting to google and uh, setting up everything else and yeah that's 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 very good now you can set screen lock i will go with something very simple let me go with a pattern though we have a little warning that we must remember a password because otherwise uh, if we forget it we will have to perform a factor reset in order to get back the access to our and uh, to our um sorry i keep wasting my words uh to get access to our tablet back now i will draw a very simple l shape of course you probably want to draw something better confirm thank you and now we have the ability to use some Google services. Usually I think that disabling the send usage on linguistic data is pretty useful. And for the other two, well, use location is a must have. Uh, just because otherwise you will have very, very limited functionality of such applications. And we also have the alarm scanning. Technically you could disable this if you like care about the battery or something. Uh, but nah, I think those two can stay enabled. But once again, if you think differently, you can enable everything or disable everything. Now, another important thing, back up your device. I, you can't even believe, I, I can't stress enough how many people I know have just done, they do not using the backup at all. And the moment they are going to lose their phone, or they are going to get their phone stolen, or their account is going to crash, or their phone is about to get frozen to death or something like that, they will lose everything on their devices. Unless they would click turn on backup, and thanks to that you won't really, you won't really be uh, wasting and losing anything. Now you can choose our browser and search engine, so we can go to next. And I will choose to select the browser, let me go to Firefox. And we can go to search engine. I'm going to go with Brave because I'm a very brave person. Now we have the ability to continue setup. I'm going to actually click continue because I want this tutorial to be like this full on tutorial. We have the left uh, contacts nearby of find and share with you. We can go into no thanks, but once again, if you want, you can enable those features. We have the Mid Gemini, our personal assistant. Now it's very important that if you're, uh, this is your first device in quite a while, uh, the press and hold uh, the power button is actually uh, for Google Assistant now, or like AI Assistant. If you want to get into power menu, you want to go and press power button and volume up button. Anyway, we have the ability to enable the hands-free with Hey Google. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this, so I will disable this. And we have the anything else. Now, both of everything else is very, very easy to do. We have the add on email account. We simply click on email we want to add and then we input credentials, we log in, done. We can change how text displays. We have only the ability to change it between default and Mi Sans uh, font. And the Mi Sans font has the ability to change the boldness of your font, which I believe is pretty, pretty cool. Now oh, let's go into no thanks. Oh, we can't set that front just yet, which is pretty funny. We can also go into change wallpaper, but we will have the only the few base wallpapers to choose from. So I'm not going to really bother with that. And finally, we can review additional apps. And actually, we only have few apps that are included, and everything and every one of them is Google. I would say that almost all of them are somewhat useful, if you didn't like them, you can always uninstall them later. And we can't really not agree to those, which is pretty funny. And finally we can hit finish for now. We are getting our tablet ready. And now we have some basic settings, now this is strictly from the sham itself, it's from the Redmi itself, um, or me itself, uh, it's not Google rated. So we have the ability to go into a location, automatic system updates, let's disable this, let's disable this, turn off, let's disable this as well, 
and nibble maybe all of this. But technically you don't really have to follow me as I go along, you can always set up different things. Now you can turn on parental controls, which is pretty interesting, but if you trust your child you don't really have to do this, though if you want to you can always watch our parental controls tutorial. And now we have the font settings, which is pretty interesting. You can go with the Mi Sans, sure. And finally we have the gestures, which are the way that you can actually move uh, from our screen. So let's go to next. And finally, we should be done. The Xiaomi Hyper OS is now preparing our system. And after a few moments, we should be able uh, to actually get into our own device and start using it, which I believe is very, very cool. Though I have no idea how long could this take, so let me quickly just pause the recording for you. And as you can see, the setup is complete. It actually took only a few seconds after I paused the recording, which is pretty funny. And you can click that beautiful continue button. And we have our home screen, we have everything here. And of course, it still is booting up. And we'll also probably get bombarded with different and notifications and all of that. But congratulations, you have successfully went through quite a long setup of the Redmi Pad 2 Pro. Now, if you want to learn what are the first things to do after performing the setup, you can always watch that video on our channel right now, which I believe is very, very cool. And that's, that's all for this video. If you found it useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.